try. What's the plan for this week, mate? Is it going to be as tough as last one? Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, uh, I think we've got two and a half days here till, till Wednesday and we'll um, keep working on our fitness and then, yeah, break up for a few days and then head back up to uh, Central Coast. How's it been for you? Yeah, yeah, we finished um, the other week, so we had um, a week off, and then we, we just went up to Newcastle for two days. But yeah, it was a good hit out. Um, we hit the hills on Saturday morning, and it was a good blowouts for us. For us, uh, it was good. Sound like to the guys that were there the whole week it was pretty pretty rigorous, pretty arduous stuff. Like how were the guys who'd been there the whole week feeling? Like yeah. Saturday. Yeah, they were pretty wrecked day. Eh? Um, a few of the boys are up in um, the Melbourne boys are staying with us in uh, Sydney here, and they were telling us how tough it was. So um, yeah, they all worked hard and. Um, yeah, we got it a bit easy, us Brumbies boys, but um, it was good to get out there with them and, and put a few good sessions together. Has Chet told you when you're finally going to do a bit of ball work? Will that happen at all this week? Uh, uh, I'm not sure, yeah. We've done a little bit, um, not a whole lot, mainly just straight line and fitness stuff. So, um, yeah, who knows, probably next week or maybe a couple of days this week. Is, is that the big key? I mean, Chet kind of said uh, after the June series that he, he did kind of emphasise the fitness side of it there. Like, can you do enough in three or four weeks before the Bledis way to kind of get yourself to that level that he wants? Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, he's got a he's got a way that um, we want to play, and, and and to play that way, we have to be fit. So um, this this last these last you know two or three weeks have been really focusing on on, on the fitness of the squad, and, and that's what we're going to continue working on over the next couple of weeks. Do you feel like you can take anything out of that quarterfinal heading into the next couple of weeks, just in terms of like that match intensity and that sort of thing? Um, yeah, I guess so, a little bit. Um, I suppose it's a it's a different different group, you know. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll park that that loss and, and we'll move on from it. But um, yeah, it's a different group. So, how much better prepared do you feel kind of going into your second season of international rugby? This time last year was probably all a little bit of new and a bit of a shock to you. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm a little bit more comfortable um, at this level. But um, yeah, I guess you know, there's as as it goes, trying to um, cement my spot in the squad. You know, there's there's players um, that are trying to step up and, and, and take that spot. So I've got to be playing well and, and training well to, to keep my spot. Yeah, I'd only seen that the other day, yeah. So I, I don't know. I guess he's got to sit out for um, a couple more weeks. So I guess, you know, he's a good player and you know, he's going to be lost for New Zealand. Is there anything you learned from the Lions series uh, that might change your approach this year in comparison to previous Bledisloes? Anything you can take confidence from? Um, uh, yeah, the Lions played had a great series against the Kiwis. Um, I don't know, but the coaching staff will look look at review their series and, and see you know how, where they went um, right there. And I guess they had really good line speed. Um, their kicking was on point. So I guess if anything, we can take sort of that away from it. You got your, your share of test caps last year, but it was kind of like a revolving door, wasn't it, with the second rows? Chet was trying on four or five of you through the season again in the June series. How much on edge does that keep you guys competing for a second row spot there? Yeah, I guess, um, yeah, well, he, he sort of swapped and changed a fair bit last year, so um, he, I'm not sure how he's going to go this year um, with, with that second row spot. So I guess we all got to be um, putting our hands up and, and playing well to sort of cement that spot. And with them, uh, the likes of, you've got the guys like what Ritalik and White not there, very established second row pairing. How, how difficult it is to go up against them, not just in the line out, but just generally around the field. Yeah, mate, they've, they've been world class locks now for a, a number of years. So um, you know, if, if we want to um, dominate up front, you know, we've got to go at those blokes. So um, yeah, we're going to have to be at our best, the second rowers, to take those blokes on. How much more established do you feel having had those runs in June now? Yeah, it was a good experience for myself. Um, I really learned. A lot, probably more about um, my my position and what it, what it's like to play um, at at test level uh, consistently week in week out. Um, I took a lot out of that and then uh, tried try to bring more to the back end of the Super Rugby season. And yeah, but I've, but I've definitely learned a lot from that uh, June series. And, and taking on the All Blacks up front, particularly in the scrum there, I mean, uh, how, how tough is that? Is that the, the toughest gig, uh, scrummaging wise, that you can face in World Rugby right now? Yeah, I'm sure they're going to be the um, strongest side that we're going to come up against in, uh, you know, in terms of set piece and scrummaging. Um, obviously, we watched those games against the Lions, and and they really um, came out there and 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 performed a strong, strong set piece battle. So, um, you know, they're, they're they're the best going around so far, and. Uh, I think every, every country is just striving to be um, up, up there at their level. You're probably taking on a lot more responsibility at Brumbies level as well. Like how has that helped you this year you know, transitioning to the more regular type squad? Yeah, I think um, you know, it's been good for myself, um, you know, just getting that experience um, playing 
playing a consistent footy again. Um, last year and the years before, I've been coming off the bench, so to be able to get that consistent um, starting spot has been a huge experience for myself. And I, that's, that's, that's what I truly believe. Like once you get all, all the game time, you know that's the only way that you're going to learn and, and um, adapt on the run. So it's been good. How much of playing against the All Blacks is mental as much as physical and technical? Because everybody goes on about how hard it is to beat them and what happened in Super Rugby. Are there kind of mental, psychological things you have to get over when you play these blokes? Yeah, I believe there are. Um, especially you know um, after the Super Rugby performance that's, that, that's been going on, um, you know you just have to mentally put that all aside. And um, you know when 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 you come out against them, you just have to give 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 it your. I, I, I believe, yeah. So. Uh, even, even when you're out there, you know, you're going to expect a tough battle um, and, and, and it's going to be a close game. So, you know, when, when it comes down to those dying moments in the game, you just have to mentally pick yourself back up and then back yourself physically. Is it difficult to, to separate those two teams when it comes to the last game? Um, not, not really. Um, you know, I think a lot of the boys in, in, in the Wallaby campaign have had that experience, you know, whether at test level or, or at Super Rugby. So we hope that, um, you know, if if a game comes to that, that um, you know we, we expect the leaders to come out there and you know just expect everyone to put up their hand um, in in, the, in those dying moments of the game. I know there was a lot of work on the physical side last week, but I believe there was also some mental stuff as well. There, what kind of things has Czech got you thinking or trying to get in your head there to, to help kind of lift your the mental performance going into the All Blacks game? Yeah, I think last week for me it was probably more about learning more about myself. Um, you know, the the training was as as, as hard as you're going to push yourself, so. Um, you know, you're going to hit some some barriers there mentally, and um, you know you, you you probably think that you can't go any further. But it's up to you whether you want to push that extra distance. And so that's what I feel like I learned more more, more about myself, and um, you know, and, and and I really came out strong um, you know, out, of, out of out of those training sessions, and, and, and I learned a lot. Was it the hardest training session, session you've ever done? Yeah, it was for me. I, I I was I only came in like the last two sessions, and I felt like I was there the whole week. But um, you know, like. But for me, physically, it was, and 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 it was a good test for me mentally. I haven't been pushed that far, um, you know, mentally. Um, you know, I haven't told myself to work to work harder than I should. But you know, when 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 you come down to those moments, and you, I think that the training session's over, but you got another fitness drill. It's just it's just all, all about pushing yourself mentally and getting in, trying trying to be comfortable in, in in an uncomfortable environment. How do you do it? How do you go again? Just the coach screaming at you, or how do you? No, I think I think that's that, that's one thing that um. And I took I, I, I took out of our last camp was that um, it was it was mainly all the boys that were, that that were getting you up. Um, um, a few of the boys had been there for you know maybe maybe six or seven days before I got there, so it was it was a huge shock for me to come in on a Thursday and you know trying try, trying to push myself. But then but then when you have the other boys coming around and just tapping you on the ass, you know, just telling you to get up for it, and you know just it, it just pushed you immensely, and uh, yeah, just really got me through it. And the technical side of it, is Mario kind of been emphasizing anything in particular there, scrummaging wise that you need to do especially well against the ABs? Oh, not to, uh, not 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 yet. I think we still got uh, next week to touch that. Um, so I think I think this week and and last week was more about you know pushing yourself mentally and physically, and then uh, we'll we'll touch on the clinical aspects of the game next week. When, when Jack picked the squad, he kind of seemed to do it with eyes of 2019. Do you guys feel like that this squad now is going to start starting to build towards that? Yeah, I think when, when when you look around, there's a lot of young um, play, players there, and uh, you know I think we are looking to build towards that um, campaign. But obviously, first and foremost, to make that, you have to build little steps, and and this blood is uh, one of those steps that we need to achieve. So.